Hey everyone, it's time for Twitter Scope. Twitter Scope time. It is 10 o'clock um, Pacific time. My name is Dawn Carter at Decart, and on Snapchat I'm at Decart because Decart was taken. And every single day we're here pushing back the veil of ignorance that surrounds Twitter. And uh, I don't know if you've said this or if you've had friends that have said this, but I just don't get Twitter. I don't get how to use it to connect with prospects to grow the platform that I have been building. Um, I don't understand how to use it to connect with customers or to build my influence within my industry. Well, thus, Twitter Scope was born, so I'm so glad um, you guys are joining me. All of the past episodes, I was told today that I'm not doing a great job of letting you know all the past episodes can be found on YouTube if you just search hashtag Twitter scope. There's over a hundred of these little videos, quick daily Twitter tips um, with a bunch of a range of topics. So go check them out there. Today I am going to actually talk episode 115. We're going to talk about really briefly <laughs> the power of a handwritten note. And this actually came out of a great conversation I had with Teresa Rosales, who's here in, um, in, in the city of Riverside. Just a great, great resource uh, for small businesses. Um, met her through the Seizing Our Destiny um, Champions Council. Just a great person to know. But I learned something about Teresa today. And I wanted to share that with you guys because it is a great reminder about crossing over your social media efforts with just the power of handwritten notes. There is something about, there's something just almost nostalgic because you just don't see them anymore. I learned something about Teresa today. She said that there was a time when she would write five handwritten notes a day to folks that she would um, meet in her network, people that she would listen to at conferences and just write, you know what, I heard you speak, I love what you've been sharing. And I just thought, what a great reminder that no matter how much we're on social media, if we're building our Twitter following or we are connecting with people or connecting with customers or people within our industry using social media to always step back and go, you know what? There are times when just sending a handwritten note is gonna make so much more of an impact. And so I just wanna give a huge shout out to a lost art of writing handwritten notes. I used to be so much better at that. And um, I was encouraged and challenged to use that long lost skill. Um, and again, Teresa Rosales, she's at Teresa Rosales 4 on the Twitter. So go ahead and follow her. But um, hey, Gary, thanks for hopping on. So remember the power of handwritten notes. Um, one of the things I'm just going to share a little story and I feel like it's okay to share because she has shared it. But the former um, mayor of Riverside, we were sitting in Molino's coffee shop and he happened to see her and he, he shook her hand and I'd seen him on a couple times, but I did not know this story that she, before she ever worked for the city, um, she would see him at events and she would write him notes and just say, you know what, saw you speaking, love what you're doing, just something really quick. It doesn't have to be a novel, but just said something and then she would send that and she would maybe write maybe two or three times a year. <laughs> I'd never met him. So, I mean, again, another brilliant lesson that you don't even have to have met someone to even write those notes. It could be just something that you're grateful for hearing the content that they're sharing. So just want to say, again, that's the kind of thing that those little stories where you hear, oh my gosh, you met somebody because you just wrote handwritten notes. I love hearing stuff like that because again, it breaks through the clutter. We live in such an age where we're bombarded by messages. And when somebody differentiates themselves by just taking a little time to just jot a note, I just love it. So giving you that little um, encouragement again to no matter what you're doing on social media, if there is a opportunity to go ahead and drop a note in the mail to someone, send it to their business address, that's fine. But just go ahead and do that. I would encourage you to just take that risk today because I know I'm going to go do that. So just want to give you that little shout out um, to Teresa and to just remind all of us because I was reminded and very convicted that that's a lost art. So remember all the past episodes you can find of Twitter Scope on YouTube. And I would love to hear your questions if you have them. I'm at Decart on the socials. So see you tomorrow, and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye-bye.